Okay, I just got out of Joker 2. Fully adieu, and... Man, do I got a lot to talk about. So, I'll try to keep it spoiler-free, but if I do happen to say spoilers, I will appear on text on screen and just have probably marks in the bottom of the video to tell you where to skip to, so you don't get confused. Joker Fully Adu is a bad movie. I was really hoping for this movie to be good. I, <laughs> I really wanted it to be good. And after watching it, I think I can finally say that it's a bad movie. I mean, there were some really good parts. There were some really good parts, but the character development, the story, the pacing, all of it's bad. I, I'm going to go deeper into the movie, but if you're planning on watching this movie, it's just, just reconsider. I will say from my experience when I went to the movie theater, we had, I believe, like, hard to say, like nine people walk out of the movie theater midway through, which... That's probably a world record. I didn't even see people walk out of the Star Wars The Last Jedi movie uh, premiere. And I will compare this movie to The Last Jedi. That's honestly how on par of a movie it is. The Last Jedi is around a 40% and this is pretty accurate to what that is. Joker Fully Adu is a bad movie with Arthur Fleck and how he portrays Joker in this movie. He doesn't feel like Joker at all. He feels like a guy impersonating Joker. Uh, doing it worse than the John Clare, honestly. The John Clare genuinely probably brings you more fun and entertainment when watching this movie. I'm gonna start off with the pros of this movie and that is some of the musicals. Some of the musical songs are great and I think the idea of a musical for Joker 2 wasn't a bad idea. I actually think that was a cool idea to make it like he's mentally insane or something. I think it, it could have worked. However, after watching the movie, none of it worked. In fact, it all was just falling apart. All the musical acts made no sense. They kind of just threw in a song randomly, but when they did have two good songs, uh, one when they're escaping the prison, uh, technically escaping, I don't know how to describe that, but uh, that scene was beautiful. I think that was one of the best actual scenes in the whole movie, and there's a song case in the court, which I will say 70% of the movie is taking place in court. Uh, so, when comparing this, I really thought I was watching Primal Fear. However, 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 Primal Fear is a good movie, and that takes everything away. I think the story behind Arthur Fleck was alright. I think some of the good scenes that he did was still really good. I think Joaquin Phoenix is a great actor. I think he did really good with what he gave, what he was given in the script. And like I said, that's not much to say, but the cinematography looked incredible. I think this was a very well-looking movie. Uh, I didn't get bored throughout the movie with the scenes. However, I was really disappointed. I think the scenes looked great, but the portrayal of each character was really bad. So let's get into the meat of this movie, and let's just talk about the disapprovals I have with it. Starting with Harley Quinn's character, portrayed by Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga, she doesn't give Harley Quinn vibes at all, and throughout the movie, I was trying to see when she was playing Harley Quinn or when she was playing herself. I think she did a really bad job at even playing Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn is Margot Robbie, and you can't top that. I think Margot Robbie was the best performance ever for Harley Quinn, and no one could ever top her. I think the pacing of this movie is just overall, like, just bad. It One scene, you're in a serious tone, and then immediately cuts to a, a song. Not doesn't transition into a song. It cuts to a song. It cuts, it would, which is weird. Because you would think of like La La Land, like they're walking down a street and then it transforms into a song. That makes sense for a musical. However, you're going into a, a scene where something bad's happening. Let's say that something bad is happening and you're sitting there and you're wondering, okay, sure. Something bad's happening. And then it just cuts to a song. And you, I genuinely sat there staring at my screen like, what? And I'm going to I'm going to keep all the spoilers for the end. Let's do that, make it more easy. I think they ruined the Joker in this movie. And he didn't feel like the Joker, and even when he was portraying the Joker, he wasn't even acting the Joker. So the Joker was just some guy named Arthur Fleck who was like I, I don't know, man. Like, it was confusing. He was he was not good. I think 
I think you have to like you're expecting like Joker one, and then you're expecting this movie. I wasn't expecting it. I was going in with low expectations, and yeah, I was still disappointed. So going from that, I think just thinking about how this character was developed was honestly just developed downward throughout the movie. He he progressively got worse throughout the movie, and that's saying something. And there was a scene where, going back to honestly good scenes, I think the court cases were really good, but like I said, it felt too much like Primal Fear. Uh, Primal Fear is a fantastic movie for anyone who has not seen it. Uh, and this is like on par with that movie, but imagine it being like 40 times worse with songs, so yeah, it just doesn't work well. I feel like more, I, I felt like the Joker more than he was. I was sitting there like genuinely going crazy sitting, watching these scenes, and I'm just like, okay. I don't normally get upset at songs. I, I don't. I don't. I love musical songs. I think they're good. I will say towards the end of the movie, I was getting to the point where when a song popped up, I genuinely sighed out loud. And the movie was filled. The theater was filled. And I, I'm pretty sure the people next to me also felt this because I, I did talk to them afterwards. And they said it was horrible. <laughs> so I'm glad I wasn't alone. So I'm going to start getting into the spoilers. So if you don't want to hear anything, please skip to the end i'll leave a, a marker right here uh, for you to see my official review or the the percentage out of 10 or sorry percentage out of 100 uh so to get started i want to talk about the starting of it i think the starting was good i i, I, I it's it started out strong until we got to a scene where he meets harley quinn and it, essentially she just burns down the prison to escape and i'm like watching i'm like okay how does how does a prison burn. I don't know. Anyways, the, the prison starts to burn. It starts to catch fire because of a grand piano being caught on fire uh, while they're watching a projector of a movie. They then walk out. Then, while they're escaping, the song plays. And this song is incredible. I will hold on to that grave until I die. That song was good. I really enjoyed it. I think the uh, once we enter the court cases, that's where it starts to dwindle down uh arthur fleck is more acting like normal arthur in this movie and which isn't a bad thing i will say it's not a bad thing uh however he he's very dull and when he's in court you know he's going through like um he's going through problems like when they talk about his mother dying and they talk about all of his friends dying kind of gets to his head and he starts to go crazy which then a song pops up and that song's also the, the one where they start talking about his craziness and then it goes into a black screen and then the lights shine down from that panel from the trailer. That scene was beautiful. That scene was great. I loved that. I think the pacing uh, throughout this, like I'm saying, it's bad. So it's like it goes from one scene to another and then you're back to another scene and then you go back to something else. And it's like, whoa! I want to add on in the middle of this segment. Harley Quinn is pregnant. Yeah, they have sex. They do it. They do it. They have sex. And what the f***? Hey, dude. Dude. How did this guy... How did this guy pull Harley Quinn? Dude. They met... They, I'm not even joking. They met like two days prior to this. And they have sex and they're having a kid. Like, what? The third act isn't much better. It, In fact, it starts off brutally. It, it's... It's pretty bad. So... It starts off where Joker finally reveals that he's not the Joker. He's Arthur Fleck impersonating a joker and and this goes into a case where harley quinn doesn't fall in love with him anymore and she kind of drifts away from him and then she goes to her apartment he calls her when he's back in prison because now he's going to get the death penalty and she points a gun to her head and you're like okay she killed herself and that was a shocking scene i will say i was kind of expecting it but happened uh after that we see him in court. We see Arthur, uh, Arthur Fleck in court. And out of nowhere, an explosion happens. And as they traverse out, uh, he gets kidnapped. He runs out and finds Harley. She's alive. All right. Interesting. So she fi he finds Harley. She walks away from him, uh, not saying, oh, it's not imagination. I don't want to do anything with you anymore. So basically, their whole relationship was just an imagination. And none of it made sense. So... And then he gets caught in jail, and here we go. The ending. One of the worst endings I've ever seen. Joker gets called by somebody. Uh, he gets called into... Uh, he gets a little phone call. And as he's walking down, someone stops him. He's telling a joke. And he runs the same joke. You get what you deserve. 
and he stabs Arthur multiple times. And I'm sitting there, jaw dropped. They don't kill him. They don't kill him. It's the Joker, baby. They killed him. They killed the Joker. In the Joker movie, they killed the Joker. And you know what the guy did after he killed the Joker? The guy who's psycho and killed him? He's the Joker. Not not Arthur Fleck. Not the Joker. The Joker is not the Joker. It's another guy who's the Joker. What? Is there going to be a third one? I hope not. Because this guy sucked. He didn't even look like the Joker. Okay. He... he it, it's bad. The whole movie is a mess. And... Welcome back to those who weren't listening. Uh, you just missed out a lot. And I will say, do not go back. The ending is terrible. And oh my god, I just discussed it. If you skipped, just, discussed, just talked about it. The ending is horrible. And it, it, it genuinely made me almost want to leave the movie theater. But, like I said, it isn't the worst movie I've seen. There are some bad scenes, yes. There are scenes that are irredeemable, yeah. Yeah, but there's some still really good scenes. It's the Joker. They're going to have some good scenes. I think the cinematography is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Loved it. I think that looked great. I think some of the songs, like I said, are good. The pacing, it's pretty bad. But at the end of the day, it's a Joker movie. And you're going in to watch a guy who's psychotic and is in jail. I mean, like, what else are you expecting? I was expecting a lot more personally. Uh, so, I think overall, this movie, honestly, I'd give this movie 46% out of 100. Better than Megalopolis, so thank the lord it was better than that movie. But I feel like the last three movies I've seen in theater, being Borderlands, Megalopolis, and Joker 2, now are really making me, like, consider what I'm watching in the theaters. So, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that anymore, but, so like I said, uh, really do not recommend this movie. I mean, unless you want to watch Joker 2 and you think it's going to be good, go ahead and watch it. But personally, for me, it's it's not good. So, uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this review. Um, I'm going to try to do more if I can. Still got to see some movies like The Wild Robot. I heard that's fantastic, so that might actually be a change of pace. But, yeah, if you enjoyed this, leave a like, subscribe. Please, my sanity, please. Please help my sanity. Please. Uh, but, yeah. That's all about, that's really all I have to say, so thank you. See ya.